In this video, I'm going to show you how to get great results from your resin 3D printers, even when it's freezing cold. In the winter, my office space sometimes is really cold, like 12 degrees Celsius. The reason for this is that the air heater I have takes a while to heat up the space, and also I don't want the heater to be on all the time, as there are a lot of costs involved in heating this room. And then there is another reason as well. When I'm working with my lasers, I like to have some open windows to get rid of the nasty smoke that is produced. My resin printers like to work in a temperature of about 25 degrees Celsius for the resin that I use a lot, and therefore I can't work with my resin printers while working with my lasers. And this is where Chichu Systems stepped in, because they offered me this 3D printer mini heater to, well, solve this problem for once and for all. The product that they gave me is their 3D printer mini heater, the basic edition. And this is a very small heater that can be placed inside your 3D printer to heat up the chamber of the printer. Of course you must have a printer that has a closed chamber, but as with most 3D resin printers, this is not a problem at all. On the Chichu website, which is linked in the description down below, uh, well, there you can find a list of all compatible 3D printers where you can use this mini heater. And well, of course, before you buy one, check if your printer is listed in that list. Installing the heater is a breeze. You just have to select the right place to mount the heater, then insert a metallic disc for the magnet of the heater, place and aim the heater inside your printer, and insulate the bottom of the printer with the supplied insulation, leaving an opening for the power cable. After you have done all of this, which took about 5 to 10 minutes, you can see the current temperature on the display of the heater that is outside of the printer. You can then select the temperature that you would like to reach inside the chamber of your 3D printer, and the heater will start heating up to the selected temperature. When that's done, the heater will maintain that temperature for as long as needed, or as long as you select it with the timer. And after that selected time, the heater will turn off. Now, the reason for using a heater on the inside of your resin 3D printer is that the resin that you're working with needs a certain temperature to make successful prints. And for this resin, uh, that is about 25 degrees Celsius uh, before it's stable. And uh, therefore, uh, when I'm using a heater like this one in my printer, I have to know that I'm uh, heating up the air on the inside of that chamber. And it will take a while before that resin is also of that same temperature. And this is important because if you just heat up the temperature to 25 degrees Celsius for this resin, uh, and you start printing, well, the resin might be 18 or 19 degrees Celsius, and not 25. Therefore, it's a good thing to wait about 15 minutes before you start printing uh, after you heated up the chamber. I have tried several 3D prints on my longer 4K mono printer, while the temperature in my office was around 16 degrees Celsius. The heated chamber was perfectly 25 degrees continuously, and the prints that I've made were flawless and spot on. So if you have your resin 3D printer in a cold spot and you would like to be able to work with it without heating up the whole room, well, this is your solution. There are links to the product in the description and they are no affiliate links, but I like this product so much that I wanted to share it with you. Big thanks go out to Chichu for sending me this mini heater for free and letting me test it for my channel. They are also sending me some filaments for another review, so well, they are really helping the channel a lot. Now you have to know that no money has been paid for this review and everything I said was my own opinion without the people of Chichu having any influence or early access to this review. Now, I can say a whole lot of bullshit about uh, pressing that like button and subscribing to the channel and, well, that would all be commercial talk and... But if you do so, then the Google algorithm knows that this is a good video and that really helps the channel a lot. So I'm not asking you to smash that like button, but it would really help me. Thanks a lot. Bye bye!